Hello everyone and welcome back to our channel. In today's video, we're going to explore an exciting world of web design and learn how to create a captivating landing page using Figma in 2023. Figma is an incredible powerful design tool that allows you to bring your creative ideas to life whether you're a seasoned designer or just starting out. This tutorial will guide you through the steps or step-by-step -step process of creating a stunning landing page, so let's dive in. Before we start with this video, make sure to watch it from now till the end so you have full experience. So first, let's start by opening whatever browser we're going to use to follow this tutorial steps with. Here in my case, I'm actually going to use the Brave browser and of course you can uh, use any other browser that you could possibly have in your PC. Once you open your preferred browser, simply go and type figma.com and hit the enter button. That should take you directly to the Figma websites or home screen or main screen. And as you can see, if you have an account, make sure to click on login to login into your account. And if you don't have an account, click on get started and follow the prompts to create or to create your account as an example. So if you click on login, as you can see, you'll have to fill your email and password. And if you click on create one, you'll have to fill your email and password again. And you can even create or even login into your account with Google account if you don't uh, have or if you don't want to get through all the boring steps of creating or even logging into your account. So for me, I'm just going to log into my account with my Google account as an example. So I don't have to go through all the boring steps of creating or logging into my account, as we said. And once you created your account or you just logged in into your account, of course, if you just created your account, you'll find yourself, as you can see, with this page. So tell us about yourself. Here, let's just put my name as it says. What kind of work you do? So simply, I'm just going to uh, put student or educator. And uh, how will you primarily use Figma as an example? So for personal use as an example, or here we can put other or whatever it is. So simply choose whatever suits you here. Then click on next as an example, invite your collaborator. So if you want to do this now, make sure to paste their emails, the emails of some collaborators if you don't want to make sure to click on do this later so where do you work if you want to answer make sure to go and answer that if you don't uh, click on skip for me as an example in school or uh, yeah answer whatever you want so what brings you to figma here as an example uh, using it for fun and click on continue of course all those steps you can skip if you don't want to answer as i said again so here as an example, uh, what uh, or who do you collaborate with most often? Uh, just myself as an example, click on continue and you can go and pay for a plan if you want, the professional plan, which will get you unlimited files, unlimited projects, shareable teams, libraries, and unlimited virgin history. It's of course, there is the uh, $3 uh, per month editor and there is even the $12 uh, per month. So go and choose whatever suits you. For me, I'm just going to start for free. I'll click on start for free. And here you can uh, whiteboard and uh, fig jam. As you can see, brimstore and diagram together or design with Figma, design prototype and developer handoff. And of course, you can even get inspired from here if you want to. Or if you want to, you can even go and start by your own. So as an example, click on I got started by, by my own. Of course, you can even get inspired from here if you want to. So make sure to go and check that out if you want to start from here. But of course, once you are here in your dashboard, once so normally if you log in into your account, you'll find yourself in the dashboard right here. So the first step now is, of course, to open this Sigma uh, and Figma and create a new project. So, of course, I'll show you how to choose the right canvas size and set up your layers to keep your design organized and efficient. As an example, so simply let's just cl oh, click here or a new design file. And here, let's just wait for this page. So here, as you can see, you'll be able to start using the Figma to create your landing page as an example. So simply, of course, the header uh, section is the first thing. Uh, so visitors, uh, visitors see, of course, on your landing page. So it's crucial to make a strong impression. So I'll guide you through the process of designing an eye catching header with a compiling headline and of course, cap captivating uh, imagery and clear call to action. So as an example here, let's just choose this square or rectangle. Let's just create one here. As an, as an example, this is going to be our header for the, for our landing page. Here we can add, as an example, uh, a text. So we can add whatever it is. As an example, we can even add some... Uh, so as an example here, we can able, uh, be able to change the color if you want. So as an example, you can uh, go here. So sorry, as an example, as I said, let's just choose this hand here. Then click here, click a design. 
uh, or click in this rectangle and here let's just change the, the color as an example to light blue why not and here let's just add a text to it so let's just even make it uh, bigger a bit and so simply i'll have to choose here the scale yeah let's just make it bigger a bit now let's just put a text here and of course the text should be as an example um welcome as an example and of course uh, the text should be with black as an example so let's just go here and put it to black then of course we can add some stroke some uh, some effects if we want to as you can see from here we'll be able to add some effects and even export so we don't want to do this right now and of course if it's like uh, like to like this we can simply go and we can even use the pen if we want by our own or pencils choose the pencil and we can type here like i don't know just use black and of course you can even type like a welcome here or whatever it is and of course every everything added here you'll find this right here as you can see you'll even be able to change the color of every one of them alone or you can simply select all of them like this and change the color of all of them as you can see i did not even write this correctly so for now let me just delete all of this as an example let's just uh, let just leave that for later sorry uh, let's just go up here and go so I actually created a new page and I will put the zoom here to 100% so we can find everything or we can have everything good. So put a rectangle here as an example and here we can go and change the color as we said it was something like this. We can even change the color to it and now we can add like a welcome text here as an example like welcome as you can see now it's typing correctly we can go here and put it even bigger as an example just go here choose this and make it bigger not that much maybe smaller a bit as you can see you can even now now move it simply choose this move and move it here we can even make it bigger if once now let's just go and create another rectangle here and as an example here we can go and uh, try to select it here can change the color of the background of our size as an example we can go and choose whatever background we want let's just make it uh, let's just go here scale and not like this this will be enough so make sure to be faced with each other okay here we are and okay now it's good of course if you want to make the page smaller we can go and change it from here to see if everything is correctly fixed so let's just make it good and like this yeah now let's just zoom in and here we are now we can start of course editing a lot of other stuff if we want to so let me just go back to the same zoom and here we can select this as an example so as simply i'm just going to select this as an example right click on it go to plugins find more plugins here and we can simply go and look for a background as an example or you can go or find the widgets for it and do whatever you want you'll be able to do whatever you want in your landing page here so make sure to do so and of course if you didn't find a lot of features that means you uh, you'll have to go and pay plan if you want because normally here in plugins you'll find a lot of other plugins uh, that you can use of course you can as an example use some widgets if you want you can go here and use some buttons so you can add your button here and change the name of it as an example the name is going to be test and the url as an example it's going to take us to our instagram or let's say an example is going to uh, here we're going to type sign in and here it should take us to the sign-in page so make sure to select here the sign-in page uh, url and simply you will find it here so and that's a good landing page as an example here uh, add the sign-in add another one to sign up add uh, or change the footer for yourself if you want to and of course 
you can customize whatever you want at the header text you can add some icons images buttons and you can add or design the body section or do whatever you want so of course if you reach this place congratulations you've successfully know how to create a landing page on in figma in 2023 so if you found this uh, tutorial helpful leave a down uh, leave a like down below and subscribe to our channel and i'll see you in the next video so thanks for watching